everyone, this is going to be a little bit of a chat, also a how-to on how I departed my lipstick collection. I posted on Instagram a while back that I was thinking about departing my lipsticks and everyone was like, no! Because um, I have a lot of limited edition MAC lipsticks from like years ago. I decided to go ahead and depart them, but I decided to do it my way. And I was trying to t explain to people a little bit on Instagram. I said, don't worry, I'm not going to throw out the tubes, I'm not going to any of that. So this is a little bit of a video showing you my process. Now, I tried to film a couple clips um, before, during, and after of kind of what I did, but I'm not sure entirely how good the footage is, so I apologize. So I'm kind of going to talk you guys through it. I'll show you guys the final product. Um, I am missing three lipsticks, so I'll kind of show you, but this is what the... Oh, there's the sun's kind of back there. This is what the finished product looks like. So I have all of my, actually it goes like this. So you can see it goes from the nudes to the pinks to the reds and purples and stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm missing a couple lipsticks. I'll tell you which ones. Um, there's one here that I, it's the uh, teal green from Melt Cosmetics. This is gonna be Don't Give a Fuck or DGAF from Melt Cosmetics. And then I thought I had Film Noir from MAC, which is like a um, intense like brown, but I don't. So those are why it's missing three, in case you're wondering. What I did was I knew that I was gonna get these, and these palettes, by the way, they're um, 24 insert palettes, and this is the double flippy floppy palette, and has like the insert in it. Um, flippy floppy, it's a very descriptive term there. I wasn't sure if my regular Mac store had them, so I ended up going and talked to a friend of mine that works there, and he said, no, like, you can't, um, get them, you can only get them at home stores. So I went to the website and put in my purchase and everything, and then they had a little option on the side that said that I, it was free two-day shipping, so I was like, <laughs> hell yeah. The Canadian cost me about $14.00 to make. Um, it comes with the empty palette and the two 24 pan inserts, so it wasn't too bad. Then what I did was I lined out all my lipsticks and I kind of include a little clip here. So yeah, I'll try to include another clip here if I can or I'll talk over it, either way. But basically what I did was I lined out all my lipsticks. I knew I had about 45 lipsticks and so I lined them up, I made sure to do them according to how I wanted, so I put the nudes together and the pinks together. And you can really do whatever you want if you're planning on doing this, like you can mix them up, you can put pinks next to purples or whatever. I like to do things in rainbow order, so I went nudes to pinks to reds to dark reds to oranges to weird colors to purple to brown and black. So that's just kind of how my mind works and how I prefer to do stuff like that. So. That's what I did. I twisted them all up, made sure to write a list of what all the products were, started my depotting process. So again, I have a couple video clips. It's not very good, so I apologize. Um, but I'll also kind of talk you through what I did there as well. Okay, so for this lipstick, I'm taking Max Velvet Teddy. And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a sterilized um, X-Acto knife. And what I'm going to do, and this is really hard for me to do with one hand, so I'm going to do it and then kind of show you what I did. Alright, so then what I did was I just took the X-Acto knife and went right at the base of the lipstick, and then I just leave the lipstick tube sitting down. Sometimes for like the creamier textures, the lipstick tube sticks right to the knife, and that way I just put the knife like that and I just leave it. And then what I do is I just take um, whatever is in the bottom tube of this, and I will show you there in a second, and I just take like a little spatula tool and I scoop out everything that's in that tube. So I'm going to do that and show you what that looks like as well. Okay, so then hopefully you can see right here, um, I just took a spatula and went in that tube and scooped out some product. So then what I'm going to do now is essentially just base, like mash it down into the tube and get out everything that's in that tube there. Okay, so then once I've just kind of masked that color down right there, I apologize, it's a little dark in this room right now, so the colors aren't true to color. Um, then what I'm left with is the completely emptied out um, lipstick tube and the bullet that I cut off from the top. So then what I do, it's really simple, make sure your hands are clean and sterilized. I just grab that tube and you basically just line this up, which is hard to do with one hand, there we go. 
you just line that up, make sure it's straight, and then you just push this right down into the lipstick tube. And that is what it looks like. So it's completely in there. You can twist it down and that makes this. So all of my lipsticks are now short, but they're still completely usable. Next I'm gonna talk about the things that you're gonna to need to do this. I made sure I had ample amount of paper towel and toilet paper nearby to like wipe down fingers and stuff like that. You're also going to need 99% um, rubbing alcohol to sterilize everything, especially if you are going to be doing this to use in your kit. You wanna make sure that everything is just completely sterile. Um, also a couple little cotton puffs and a scoopy tool. You want to sterilize that too. I used like, it's like a nail tool, but it scoops stuff out. And then something to cut it, I used just an X-Acto knife, made sure to sterilize that in between each lipsticks. Also, when you get the pan, you want to make sure that you completely sterilize all of the little wells. And as you go, continue sterilizing them like I kind of did one at a time when I put the lipsticks in. I want to talk to you a little bit about why I did it. I did it because I have so many lipsticks, like right there alone I have about 50 lipsticks that I was not using. Like I use maybe 10 of them on a regular basis. And you guys will know which ones they are, like Russian Red, Diva, you know, those kind of lipsticks. And I realized that I had so many colors that I wasn't using and that didn't really get enough love. So I figured, you know what? I don't hate it if I cut them up and if it means I'm gonna use them. Um, I created some lipstick combos like in the last couple days that I've been playing around with it um, that I would have never done before. So yeah, I will do another video. If you guys want, please leave in the comments talking about what lipsticks are in here, which ones I like, which ones are my favorites, that kind of thing. If you want, I can do a video about that. I might just do it anyway because I love, love, love my lipstick so <laughs> I'll probably probably just do a video talking about that. One thing though that I found when I was cutting them up, um, there's different textures have different um, blend moldability. So you can see when I open this up that I kind of, uh, again apologize for the sun, but you can see when I opened it up that they're all kind of mished together and I don't know if you noticed this guy right here, this is Ruby Woo which is basically the most dry lipstick ever. I started to learn the nuances and little things that um, each texture of lipstick has. For example, and this is kind of funny, but I was talking to this with my boyfriend. Creamy lipsticks tend to spread. Um, amplified, for example, from MAC terms, tend to mush, like they're pretty easy to mush. Matte, you have to mash, <laughs> kind of in there. And then Ruby Roo literally flaked, like it crumbles when you go to like smush it in. It was the weirdest thing, weirdest consistency. It was almost like, um, like slightly dried Play-Doh. It's really, really weird. It was one of the more difficult ones to do because all the other ones you could kind of stick a thing in, twist it out. And it's kind of, like I said, either smush, mash, or spread it in there. Most horrible lipstick ever. It's not my favorite lipstick, and that's probably one of the reasons why, but it's, um, it's so dry. So do keep in mind that if you're going to use this method, that's kind of something to just remember. You'll notice which ones are easy and like the different textures. I'm sure another question you guys are probably going to ask is why I didn't melt them. I've seen a lot, a lot, a lot of YouTube videos of people melting them, and I kind of just have a personal issue with that. One, I think the way that I did it is just more aesthetically pleasing. I was always an artist and I like the way that oil paint looks and I like the way that acrylic paint looks. So for me, this is more, it's, it's more of an artist thing to see all the little, um, the little swipes in it and textures and stuff like that. And also I didn't want it to change the physical properties of my lipsticks. Like it seems kind of a weird idea to me to melt them down. I've had lipsticks that have melted in the car and they're not the same. Like I I don't care who says, oh I melted them and they're the same texture. I personally don't think that they're the same. I've had lipsticks melt before and it's not. So I find this just an easier, less time consuming way to depot your lipsticks. And like I said, you keep them in the tubes and you can still use them. Like this is one from Rocky Horror. I just bought it and I cut it down and I still have lipstick left to use 
for many applications. Also, another reason why I did it is so that I can actually go through lipsticks quickly. Um, I never back to MAC lipsticks, like there's only, the only ones I've ever run out of um, is Russian Red, which is the lipstick that I used to wear every single day for like years. And that's really the only way that I got to kind of wear down a lipstick because I have so many. So this hopefully is going to allow me to kind of use some and start to back to back some and be like, okay, here, like take, take the ones that I've run out of. Because they're just piling up and while they're beautiful and I don't want to get rid of the tubes yet, it's just, I want to get, like, use them more. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that answers your questions. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions about anything regarding this video, please let me know down below. Also, I will have either a makeup look, uh, makeup video up, a tutorial for this eye look. Um, it's using the Sugar Pill Sparkle Baby palette, also some other Sugar Pill um, colors. And I did it with a nude lip in the video, so. Um, if you guys are wondering what's on my lip, it's cyber lipstick and a little bit of chinchilla from Lime Crime, so yeah. Anyway, um, I do hope you guys are doing good, and until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.